Rocky and I have built a little studio here at Rackspace, and we think uh, that every company is going to need a, a TV studio like this. The problem is, if you're trying to build a little studio at home, you're probably buying low-cost HD cameras like this GoPro or some of these uh, uh, camcorders, and you probably don't have $20,000 for a TriCaster, but you still want to do the same kind of stuff. Well, today, New Tech has a new TriCaster. It's called the TriCaster 40 coming out. It's less than $5,000 and lets us really change the kind of video that we can do all over the world, and we're going to hear about it right now. Who are you? Hi, Robert. I'm Don Balance. I'm the director of training for New Tech, and I travel the world showing people New Tech products, but I also love to play the guitar. I've been playing guitar for about 20 years and love to go out and listen to music. I've actually done a lot of that here in this fine city of San Francisco. Very cool. Well, I'm really excited by what you're showing me because, you know, when, when Rocky and I spec'd out the studio, it was $20,000 for our TriCaster. It was pretty pricey, and, uh, you know, a big company can afford that, but I want a TriCaster in my garage or in my home studio with some GoPros or some low-cost cameras, you know, keep the costs under $10,000 to do some video. Sure. And uh, you guys have a new thing coming out today. What is it? We do. We have the new TriCaster 40. So this is a return to our roots with the TriCaster. The original TriCaster was a very small portable system, did standard def only, had three camera inputs. And then as that gained popularity, people were like, oh, I wish the TriCaster did this and that and the other. And of course, we always listen to our customers. We respond. We come out with new models, with more features, and pushed it up and up and up as far as the capabilities. But of course, cost goes up along with that. Even though those TriCasters are a fraction of the cost of doing those types of productions any other way, like you said, you know, a lot of people just simply can't afford that. Well, the TriCaster 40 is now under $5,000. It's a multi-camera production system that allows you to produce shows at the same quality level that you can produce even with the higher-end TriCasters, um, but again, at a price point that we can all afford. Ex explain to, to people who don't know what a TriCaster is. Uh, you know, if you haven't visited like Leo Laporte Studio or, or here, you don't know what a TriCaster is, so explain what it is. Sure, well a TriCaster takes all the capabilities of a large video production uh, area and it puts it into one integrated system. So it allows you to bring cameras in and allows you to switch between those cameras, do transitions from one camera to the next. It allows you to do titles and overlays, even motion overlays. Uh, it allows you to stream your productions live to the internet. It allows you to record those productions directly to the TriCaster in one integrated system. And it gives you the professional environment to do your productions from. It's got an incredible virtual set system built right in. allows you to look like a big studio even if you are working in a small production space. Can you explain uh, the difference between the 455 model that we have that costs $20,000 and the new 40 model that you're announcing today? Sure. One of the differences is the 455 model allows you to do analog and digital. So you can bring SDI video in in standard def or high def. The 40, again, is more of our entry level system and it does analog only. So you can bring high def in in component and uh, you can bring standard def in component compositor YC. Now one of the nice things is, is you can mix and match those formats on the way in in any of the TriCasters, allowing you to use new equipment, old equipment, whatever you want. Now again, your 455 has some capabilities like the ISO quarter, allowing you to record all four of the channels of video that are coming in during the live production, so you have content for editing afterwards. This TriCaster does allow you to record, but just your production, just one channel of video, basically. Got it. Um, the 455 also does full color transitions with audio and gives you the ability to create your own transitions. This TriCaster comes with standard wipes, fades, trajectories, the things that we would see in, in regular television switchers. So again, there are a few less capabilities, but the theory behind how the TriCaster can help you is the same no matter which one you have. It allows you to take cameras, allows you to create a very high quality professional show and deliver it to the world in several ways. Deliver it either as an internet stream live, as an internet stream video on demand, or of course as a live production in traditional broadcast. And again, you can record it so you end up with a full broadcast resolution version of the production after the show as well. Very cool. A lot of people don't realize that the, you know, HD cameras now are getting really small and really cheap. These uh, GoPro cameras are used by ESPN and TriCaster is used by ESPN, right? Absolutely. So 
you know, these are $300 cameras. They're l low cost. So you can buy three of them for less than $1,000. Now you go buy a TriCaster for under $5,000. Yep. Can I hook these into that? You absolutely can. The GoPros, uh, depending upon the model you have, have component video out. So you'll be able to come out. Even the ones without component out have HDMI out. The HDMI with a little converter box could be converted into component video to come into the TriCaster as well. So you're right. It is very possible to set up a show, you know, even in your house where you've got cameras all over the place and be able to bring them in, switch them live, do your own talk show like you're doing here. But again, at a much uh, with a much tighter budget and still deliver a very high quality show. How about audio? I mean, I, we're using uh, microphones that have XLR components. That can't come in here yet, right? It can't. The TriCaster does have its own internal audio mixer, and okay. you do have audio inputs on the front. You have two RCA jacks as a line level input, and you have a microphone input. But again, with this type of TriCaster, most customers would use an external audio mixer and then just take the yeah. output of that, run it in here, and then the internal audio mixer can be used to take that external mix and mix it with any of the internal audio that can come from the TriCaster. It does have in several internal media players. It's got a digital disc recorder, which is like a VCR, so you can load clips on there and play them back internally. It also has graphics players that play stills, titles, and even sound files. So if you wanted a music bed during the show or anything like that, all of that can be run from the media players inside. So there's the a hard drive in here. How big is that hard drive? The hard drive in there is a terabyte, and it is partitioned into two different partitions, one for the system and one for the media drive. Uh, you can get about 20 hours of high def on the TriCaster out of the box as it sits, but there are also two eSATA ports on the back, allowing you to hook up eSATA external storage and expand that storage to uh, as much as you want. Well, that's cool because we're, we're getting some Drobo units. Uh, we're talking to Drobo this week as well, and uh, they, they make a hard drive that you can, I believe, hook up to this, Absolutely, right? you could, Through the yes. eSATA, and then Absolutely. you get high-speed uh, storage because video, you know, takes a lot of storage. Well, with the Drobo, you can have terabytes and terabytes and terabytes and absolutely have access to it immediately in the TriCaster. So uh, the, the ports for storage are eSATA or USB 2, right? Yes, there are USB 2 on the back as well. And again, you do have the internal storage as well. I know a little bit about TriCaster, but Rocky knows a lot more. I, I know you can uh, switch cameras and do wipes and do the titles. Can you do green screen type of stuff and virtual studio stuff? It's really the beauty of the TriCaster is that it integrates everything that you need for your production. Traditionally, if you were going to go out and buy a switcher, it's going to do that. It's going to take your cameras and it's going to do wipes and fades and switch between them. Maybe it would do an overlay. The TriCaster does that and so much more. It's got a full virtual set system that allows you to work with a very small green screen and then immerse the talent in a very large virtual set. And you have full standing sets and seated shots and medium shots, all the things, even double box effects like you see on CNN where you've got the talent here and a big video here or two people in two different boxes. All of that is possible with TriCaster 40 and any of the TriCasters in the line. Now, I've been in, a, in some professional studios and they have special lighting for the green screen. Do I need that or... Or is it pretty forgiving of uh, the kind of lighting that we would have in a low-cost studio like this? The TriCaster has something called Live Mat, and it is one of the most forgiving keying systems I've ever worked with in my life. I'll tell you a story where I took a lot of time to set up my lights when I was doing something in a hotel conference room. So I'm setting up all my lights, it looks really great, I'm happy with that, and then I wanted to turn the lights out. They were traditional bulbs, I didn't want the bulbs to get burned out. So I turned the lights out, it looked the same. The key was just gorgeous, just with the fluorescent lights in the room. So I've done even demos, again, where people show up with wrinkly cloth green screens and we throw them over a rack and people are like, there's no way that's gonna work. One button and I'm pulling a perfect key even off of a wrinkly background, it really blows people away. So it allows you to work in environments and deliver stuff from places that traditionally you couldn't. You know, I can't take my whole production studio backstage at the concert or to the sidelines of the football game. TriCaster allows you to do all those things. And again, the TriCaster 40 is perfect for that because it does return to our desktop style. It's very light, pick it up with one hand, sets up in about 10 minutes, and you're ready pr to produce a great looking show. Very cool, so I'm, I'm gonna have to get some uh, green screen uh, cloth here from uh, B&H Photo or something? Absolutely, awesome. you can get either that or paint. You know, there's chroma paint you can buy online and just paint the wall with the chroma paint and you're good to go, wow. literally. 
I got to do that in my homestead. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and, you I got to make, make it look like I have a big, huge room behind me. <laughs> we also have this product, which is the TriCaster Virtual Set Editor. And this is a $1,500 add-on. And this allows you to modify some of the sets that are available in the TriCaster right out of the box. But it also allows you to create your own. You can even do it in Photoshop. Set up the layers of your set in Photoshop with content from any package. And then just tell it where you want the talent to be. And each of the sets so also has an on-screen monitor. So you set it up. Load so it that in. lets me build a custom desk and a custom background and stuff like that? Exactly. So there are sets in here, but of course, a lot of times I don't want to look like the other people using a TriCaster. I want my logo on the desk. I want my cityscape out the window in the background. And all of that is just a few clicks away. So a lot of companies and people need to do titles. You know, Rocky puts titles up uh, on, on you. How do I do that? And do I have to buy something else to do that? You don't. The TriCaster does come with an internal template template system. So there are a large variety of titles in there that are customizable live. So you can literally just pick the style you want, click on the text, type in the name you want, click on the picture, dump a picture and, and go. Do I have a keyboard that I have yes, to this? Yes, it's a keyboard or? and a mouse that you would be working with a monitor attached to the TriCaster. Now there is also another add-on available called Live Text. And Live Text will run on an external PC and this will allow you to have an external person running all of your titles. So they can create the titles, they can send them out live to the TriCaster, they can do overlays, uh, they can even do scrolls, crawls, and motion. Live Text 2 also incorporates something that we call Data Link. Data Link will allow you to bring in external data to dynamically update those graphics. Sports is a perfect example. We can connect to Dactronics scoreboards and our sports scores will automatically update. We don't have to ever worry about them. But you can hook up to SQL database, text file, even live RSS feeds from the internet for real-time financial and news can be brought in through the external computer and then fed live right into the TriCaster, brought in as an overlay or an element or however you want to incorporate it into the show. Wow, that's really cool. Um, a lot of companies and at Rackspace, I share the studio with other people who are going to use it for uh, webinars and tr training. You know, a Linux programmer will come in and show off the, you know, how to do something on uh, his Linux computer. How do I get the computer screen in here? Well, that's always been a problem. Traditionally, we'd be talking a piece of equipment, a scan converter, which would convert the computer video into a regular video signal, which we could bring in through one of our video inputs. But that takes up one of my cameras. So the TriCaster allows you to bring in any Mac or PC that's on the same network as the TriCaster through the network and bring it in through one of our network inputs. So I could have a dozen computers on the network, and I have two network inputs in here. So while I'm displaying one, I could be choosing the next computer on the next one. Switch over to that one, choose the next computer on the original, switch back, and literally roll dozens of computers in if they want to do PowerPoint, Keynote, look at a web page, even play YouTube video. Do they have to load any software on the computer or do there, anything? Or? There is a small piece of client software called IVGA, but it also has some features like the ability to then take that computer interface and zoom in on it, pan around on it. So again, computer training, things like that, I want to be able to show this menu, show this control, show this icon and how it works. All of that is really, really uh, enhanced with our IVGA software. Now, I, I interview a lot of people with iPads and iPhones, uh, you know, and, and mobile phones. How can they get their uh, th their screens into here? The two network inputs not only accept the computers that are on the same network, but they also accept Apple AirPlay. So if there's a wireless network that the TriCaster is attached to, you can just log those iDevices onto that wireless network and then feed anything out through Apple AirPlay will go wirelessly right into the TriCaster's network input. So that's full frame rate video with audio. Okay. Literally like holding a DVD player in my hand. I can scrub it, I can play it, I can pause it. It really adds a new level of interactivity for the presenter. You know, usually in a video switch, the guys in the back behind the board are running everything. Well, here, the presenter can actually be controlling the video playback and what's being played and all that sort of stuff, giving them a lot more control over the production. That is really awesome. So I can just walk up with my iPhone and, and start broadcasting that right to the TriCaster? Absolutely, you can. Does that work with, with the high-end model as well? Absolutely. All oh. of the TriCasters. Rocky uh, is uh, holding out on me. <laughs> 455, 855, and the new 40, as well as our new 8000, which is going to be released here in a little while as well, all support Apple. AirPlay, so that functionality. And Very again, cool. like I said, the theory behind how a TriCaster works is basically the same throughout the entire line. You just get a few more features as you move up through the line. Very cool. What else do I need to know about this and, and making it sing? Well, um, again, it 
hooks up and in literally minutes you just plug the cameras in. There is no gen locking or anything like you might have in a traditional studio. You can just plug consumer cameras in. Again, I can plug one high def, one standard def, one composite, one component, it doesn't matter. TriCaster will up convert, down convert everything on the way out to whatever resolution you want. You can even do high def and standard def on the way out. Um, it does run from the keyboard and a mouse and a monitor, but there is an optional control surface. So the control surface is the board I was speaking of, where you've got all the buttons for the preview and program and the switching of the cameras, the transitions, the overlays, literally everything that you need to control from that live production can be controlled tactily, putting all the power of the TriCaster right at your fingertips. Oh, that's really cool. Once I record my uh, show, can I upload it to YouTube? You can. Or Vimeo or wherever? So not only can you record the show as full res video, but you can stream it live and you can stream in Windows Media or Flash, and you can also archive that stream as you're streaming it live. So as soon as you're done streaming, you've got a file that can go up for video on demand, YouTube, Vimeo, wherever you want to put it, and you're ready to go. So it literally allows you to, to deliver in many, many ways simultaneously. I mean, I can output traditional broadcast, I could output to a projector for a live venue at the same time, I could be streaming it live, recording the show, and recording the stream archive all in this one easy to use integrated box. That is really awesome. So five thousand dollars for the for the uh, model forty, TriCaster forty. Uh, how much again was the control surface? Uh, the control surface is not yet been given a price. It's okay. still under development. It's going to be released a little bit after the release of the 40 itself. Got it. But again, we've got live text, which is a $1,000 add-on, and virtual set editor is $1,500, and they both run on an external PC. And then I just need some low-cost cameras, which are about 1000 bucks a piece. Yep. And we got a studio. And you are ready to go. And you can literally look like, you know, I've watched a lot of web TV, and some of it looks really great, and some of it looks like what I call security camera TV. Hey. <laughs> so we <laughs> want to be able to allow everybody to be able to raise those production values and make something that looks like what you would see out of a network. And the TriCaster allows anybody to do that. Oh, that's really awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. Where do I learn more about it? You can go to newtech.com and get all the information on the full line of new tech products. Very cool. Thanks so much for coming out and showing it to me. Thank you, Robert. And thanks for what you do for TV guys like uh, Rocky and I. It's our pleasure.